welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are in the van again on the road, headed to the Upper Peninsula again. Um, we are gonna be gone for about two weeks. We're probably gonna be spending most of our time in Marquette just because Marquette's like my favorite place in all of Michigan and we have lots of friends there. And that's where we're headed today. So today is mostly just gonna be a driving day. We've already driven like three and a half hours. We're in Gaylord right now getting gas. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready to cross the Mackinac Bridge and we got maybe like a four hour drive up to Marquette. But yeah, summer's just going by way too fast. It's like August 11th, so we're gonna spend a couple weeks in the UP to uh, try to get the most out of summer. I guess it's time to uh, get back on the road and head to the bridge. Alright you guys, we just crossed the bridge and we are officially in the Upper Peninsula. We're actually in St. Ignace right now at Clyde's Drive-In, which is like this old school drive-in diner style place. And we've been meaning to stop here forever. Everybody has been telling me about it and we see it every time we drive up here. It's like one of the first places that you pass when you cross the bridge into the UP. All right, we're back on the road. The burgers from Clyde's were amazing. The whole experience was awesome. The people that worked there were super nice. I highly recommend checking it out. And uh, yeah, now we are back on the road heading to Marquette. So we got probably like two and a half, three hours to go. I don't know if we're gonna make it in time for sunset though. We kind of got a late start. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Good morning, you guys. It is now the next morning and we slept in Rufus' driveway last night and her driveway is in the shade in the morning. So we actually woke up at like 8, 30, 9 o'clock, which is super late for me, especially in the van. We're used to waking up as soon as the sun comes up. But we've had a pretty slow morning. We just are down by the water right now. We just made some coffee. You guys probably can't even see it, but Lake Superior is behind us and we're waiting for Heather to be ready and we're going to be going paddle boarding. So I think we're just going to hang out, go to 3rd Street, get some breakfast and uh, get some work done and just see where the day takes us. All right, you guys, we made it out onto Lake Superior. We got Andrew, Heather, and Michelle over there. We were wiped after paddling all day, so we just relaxed in Rufa's driveway and fell asleep to the sound of rain hitting the van. It was still raining the next morning, so we decided to try and find a new waterfall to us. But little did we know, the GPS would take us down the wrong road that ended up being a little rougher than we expected. To be honest, 
I wasn't even mad. That's just what happens sometimes. And if that wouldn't have happened, we wouldn't have found this cool little road. We finally found the right trailhead this time, or the actual trailhead. <laughs> Then we did the quick hike up Sugarloaf Mountain, and we've been here so many times, so I didn't really film that much, but it's definitely a hike I suggest that everybody does at least once if you visit Marquette. They recently made a second trail that is actually quicker to get up, so we had to go check that out. And then all of a sudden, two bald eagles showed up and put on a show for us. They flew right over us for quite a few minutes. The next morning, we stocked up on some donuts before making our way west towards the Keweenaw Peninsula. We made a quick pit stop at one of my favorite roadside parks in Michigan. A short walk from the parking lot right off the highway takes you along the Sturgeon River to multiple falls and this huge 300-foot gorge. Then we continued west into Houghton and checked out another new waterfall to us. There was almost no rain in the Keweenaw this summer, so the waterfall was pretty dry, but I can only imagine what this looks like when it's really flowing. The next morning we made our way west of Houghton to a town called Frida that is actually known for being the ghost town of the UP because of the old abandoned copper mill that sits right on the shore of Lake Superior. Now there were still a few people living in town so I wouldn't officially call it a ghost town but those that have been following me for a while know that exploring abandoned places like this is where it all started for me so we had to go check it out.
And then we started making our way north towards Copper Harbor. And I swear that every time we come up here, I am still blown away at how gorgeous the Keweenaw is. I am so glad that we got to come back in the van and actually have the time to stop at whatever caught our eye instead of just rushing around like usual. Then we finally got to do a hike that both Andrew and I have been wanting to do for a long time. Then we raced to the top of Brockway Mountain to make it in time for sunset, and that's actually where this video ends. So thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one.